Good day, tubes. How's she going? So it's really cold outside today and stuff, but I do really want to get this heater core uh, going here, kind of thing. You know, get the truck get a little bit warmer and stuff when we're driving. It'll be really nice. But uh, uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure how I'm going to do this yet because I don't have any water turned on now, right? I don't want our stuff freezing up, so I might have to just do it with air pressure for now, and uh, hopefully that'll do her. Uh, that and maybe. Uh, have like a bucket of water or something there and then uh, once you have the first lot out maybe I can take a funnel and then fill the core back up as much as I can and then another blosh out or you know but uh, that's sort of the plan I know it's not a very good uh, probably way to do it but uh, <clears throat> I don't have any water like I say right now on so and I'm not going to turn it all on just for that you know that's just a lot of <laughs> draining out and cleaning out after kind of thing so but anyways uh, I got to run over to uh, my parts, uh, auto parts guys there, and uh, grab one of them um, dis uh, disconnect line tooly things, so that you guys were telling me is about, and sending me all the PMs and stuff. Thanks for friggin' much for for that. That's awesome. Like I kind of knew about those, but I wondered if there was, you know, like another way you could do it without having to get that kit. But I, I'm gonna probably go get one of those kits. I think so. But anyways, let's head to the auto parts store. There we go. We got back from the auto parts store. And uh, there's the kit. We picked one up. I'm really dizzy now. Only one spin around. That all it takes me. So uh, I guess these little deweys here, uh, <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure how they work yet, but it looks to me like, what is Buddy doing here? He's pushing and pulling and then that thing shoves on and then squeezes the thingy and then he rips them apart. I'm guessing that's how they work. So uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, Anyway, so that's that. That's that little kit. So we're gonna go try that out. And uh, there's one other thing here too about the antifreeze I put in the car. I was reading the label. See, that's why I bought this stuff because it says all makes add to anti any color antifreeze. Now, if you can read this fine print in here, it says get Presto antifreeze coolant A F slash C protect faster. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, premix formula is intended for use and compatible with any AFC antifreeze coolant and can be used uh, in any make or model automobile or light duty truck on the road today and mixes with any color antifreeze. So there you go. This mixture of 50% coolant and 50% specially de demineralized water protects your vehicle uh, cooling system for up to five years, 250,000 kilometers. Um, Blah, 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 blah. So anyways, I don't know if, uh, if you guys are still thinking, oh, this shit's going to all gel up and screw up on you, but this stuff apparently claims here you can mix it with anything, anything, anything. So uh, that's why I got this. But anyways, pre-mixed too, eh? so I don't have to mix. But uh, When we did our little to the auto parts store there, I also got some uh, jugs of the uh, stuff for the truck, the uh, orangey colored stuff or whatever it is, the Dextron or whatever the heck they call that. I can't remember. It's the orangey color stuff anyways. But uh, I got two jugs of it sitting in the truck out there waiting and it's uh, stuff I'm going to have to mix. So I'm going to have to find a nice clean pail or something somewhere. I'm sure I got one laying around here somewhere. And, uh, or maybe I'll use, just use the wife's bathtub. Uh, she'd love that, wouldn't she? No, I better not do that. But anyways, oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on, tubes. Don't you hate that when you feel like you're gonna sneeze and then it just sits there like in your face. But anyways, um, we're gonna have our McCafe and stuff here. Um, I think I brought it in. Might have left her out in the hood of the truck. I don't know. And uh, then we'll head down and uh, get to ripping these lines off and blowing them out and stuff. And hopefully that uh, will cure our little problem with uh, the heat and the, the dewy because I really don't want to have to tear all that dash apart just to get that heater core out and put a new one in. So uh, anyways, uh, let's have our McCafe. We'll head down. Okay, so let's head her down to the garage, and we'll do a grumpy old cold start here for you. Oh. Oh. She's a good runner for that many miles on her, eh? Oh, turn the radio down. And we'll just go easy here. Oh. Watch the old smash into the tree. Oh, there's a fella coming in here, of course. Hold on, tubes. Okay, let's head her down the garage. Freaking cold out today. 
I don't know if they want to be doing this today or not, but uh, you know, kind of be nice to have some heat in the old uh, truck here. But um, running a bit fast there, and it's cold, I guess. Well, uh, probably. Oh crap! I left the tractor part there. I'll we'll have to do her about here somewhere, I guess. But the best we're gonna get. Oh, truck. I'll just let her run for a minute, and then it'll warm the line. And the lines up a wee bit for me. You know, so I won't be freezing my hands right off. But anyways, let's have a looky see here underneath the hood. You hear that thing squealing pretty good there. I got the. I think it's that one. It sounds like it's going up on them briefcase. But uh, here's what we're working on. These sellers and. Uh, room in there to play with this or open the spring down in the hall. What a stupid design that is. Oh well. Just going to warm a minute here and then uh, we'll shut her down. I wonder if it would be better to take her off down below here. I don't know. I don't really want like the whole thing to drain out. So you can see I guess the thermostat must be under that housing there because it's all clean. Why do you uh, put her in, I guess, when you had all the plugs and wires down here, you must have taken that off and done that uh, there. So that's not too bad in there, but it's a little buried. So I presume that's okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's figure this out here. Hang on, dude. Uh, I just popped all that apparatus off for the air cleaner and stuff that goes into the to the, to the dewey there. And I'm kind of thinking I might pop it off down in here. Just got two regular freaking clamps there, but I'm used to. <laughs> yeah, I can see Buddy's had uh, that off and replaced that because of the, the clamp's not in the same spot as she was, eh? So that, that's good to know. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to pop these suckers off here. And... Uh, this is the hot one here that's coming out of the engine. So uh, let me figure this out here. We're gonna have to pop both of these off. And I don't know if I can get, it'd be nice to get this seg segregated off of here, but look what the frig is that. I don't think that's, that's like, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at that when I get that off of there. Oh frig, you guys can't even see. These things here, they're like a collar thingy or something. Not exactly sure how they work, but uh, oh, that thing is sharp, huh? But anyways, uh, we'll see if we can get uh, this off, and it's gonna drain freaking crap everywhere. I guarantee that. Well, that little bit of driving there doesn't take long to warm up. It's pretty sweet, but uh, yeah, and then we're gonna have to. Uh, oh, how's this gonna work? This is really stupid. The round holes I really want to get off is this one with these stupid things on it. And the other one's just a clamped on hose. Like, come on. Who designed that? But anyways, let's uh, get some pliers out here and uh, see what we can do here. Okay, too, this is going to be really hard because i got to try to do this and hold the camera. Get these uh, pliers down on here. Just can't get in there to get leverage. Oh crap, hang on tubes. Okay, so I got the one hose I think loose here, and I just jabbed my finger on the freaking clamp there. Stupid thing. Yeah, that one's loose. So it should be good to come off, and this is the hot one. Which is, oh, there she goes tubes. Freak sakes. Oh, bit of orange juice all over my hands. That's lovely. And, uh, okay, get that one up out of the way. Hopefully. Okay. I didn't want all that to pee out like that, but she's is, and, uh, she is. Looks like going to pop. So this one here is being a little bit much more of a nuisance. And, uh, it's gonna drain out that whole bloody engine, you know that? Well, now I gotta get uh, 
some pliers onto there to try to loosen that one up. Because it seems to be on there really good. Okay, hang on, dudes. Okay, I think I got this side ready. Yep. So just, I don't really want that to drain right out because I want to use that to the th top three, right? So. Looks like the whole engine's gonna drain out and uh, whatever else is coming out of there, so she's gonna need a fair bit to fill back up. Uh oh. Stay up that. It needs to be up higher than the heater core. Okay, alright. Now, let's get our stuff all set up here and we'll try to blast this crap out of here. Okay, so we got kind of a rednecky sort of setup here, but uh, let's just have a quick look here before we give her. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to use the air, and I just got her duct taped and kind of smashed in the hose there and wrapped it around on the thing here. It's probably going to leak, and I didn't really want it to go back up into there right now, so I got a kind of clamped off with the, the vicey grips, and then uh, we got the out going into the in. Hopefully, we're going to. Pull a whole bunch of crap out of there into the uh, to the Dewey. So, anyways, let's try her out, tubes. Okay, wish me luck. Still getting into the bottle here. Examine our bottle or this thing in here. And geez, I don't know. There wasn't really a whole bunch of stuff that came out that I can really see. I don't know if you guys can see in there too well, but there's a couple of chunks, but I wouldn't say it's anything super major. But, anyways, uh, let's maybe uh, try a reverse flow thing here. Well, I'm going to try also putting one of these on, just the fitting itself, and uh, I might get a bit more going out of her, hopefully. I don't see anything coming out. Feels like there's good airflow there, though. I know, too. Maybe that was it. Just a little bit there bunging it up. I don't know. Well, there's really all we got out of it was... Feels like kind of gooey sort of stuff. I don't know. There's a couple of hunks there, but man. I wouldn't think that would bung her up like that, but anyways, maybe that's all it was. I thought I would have got a lot more of this crap out, but it doesn't seem to be any more in there, so I gave her a good blast both ways. And I guess we'll just slap her back together and uh, hopefully think she works, but uh, that's all I can think of doing. <laughs> Pardon my French, that was, that was in my cafe burp. And we got uh, good old coolant all over the bloody place here, so that's super awesome. But, uh, well, <laughs> makes her nice and shiny. Look at that dirt. Oh, man. But anyways, uh, let's slap these hoses back on, and then we'll have to uh, get mixing up our stuff here, I guess. And then, uh, I wonder if there's a problem going into the housing there. I don't know. I don't know. We'll try her and see, I guess. Okay, so we got our pail all cleaned out again. And... 
we'll open up our new jug of orange juice here. And uh, this is the stuff we got to mix, so I'm going to dump one of these in. Oh, look at that, eh? Vibrant orange. And I'll go get a... Let this drain out and I'll go fill up a jug of... With water. And that'll give us the uh, minus 45, I think they say, to 1. Or 45, minus 45 degree temperature. But hopefully we'll never get that to here. Nice vibrant stuff though. Okay. Wow, that's like almost fluorescent the orange stuff. Okay, gotta go get some water. Be right back. Okay, so we got jug of, jug of liquid juice, uh, water juice. And uh, we're just gonna dump some of this back in here. Get all mixed up good. Probably good there. And I've got one of those uh, Oh, antifreeze testers, I think, in the garage. I haven't used it for a long time, so it's going to take me a minute to find it, but let's go have a quick look, see if they can test and see what uh, freezing point this is at. Friggin' love when that happens. Right to the first drawer, bang, there it is. Okay. So, if you can see the the uh, scaly things on this, um, there's uh, 50%, should be minus 37, so we should actually be... A little bit higher will probably be up around the, the top there. So anyways, what you do is uh, make sure she's clean, it looks okay. Make sure your dewey's down. Take a sample. Not enough of a sample. Okay, fill her up. And the gauge will actually, I we need to add a bit more water yet. Getting enough in there. Come on. Put not enough and then next time you put too much. So yeah, we're actually way above the, the scale here now. So have a look, see here. I'll just have to tilt the camera up so she's level. So yeah, we're uh, pretty darn high there. So we're gonna put a little bit more water in. That'll bring the uh, freezing point down a bit. Okay. One more water. That's that whole jug, so that's a 50-50 now. And uh, give her a little spinning. Should be well mixed. Okay, so now we've got, you can see that there, I would say we're a little bit below the minus 37, but that should be, uh, should be alright. So anyways, we'll go dump this into the truck here, and uh, I got to, uh, actually, while we're here we should test this crap. This one was at. Oh, they didn't even mix it. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, it's coming down a bit there. That's about the minus. Well, really high. But anyways, that's okay. This uh, will mix in with whatever's in the engine too now. So okay. Now. What we got to do is fill her up into uh, the big bottle thing there, and uh, it'll slowly gurgle itself back down because that's the higher than anything else in the cooling system, right? So what we'll do is get you guys positioned right here somewhere. I wish I could get you even closer, but that's going to be here. And uh, gonna probably need a funnel or something to. Uh, oh man, what a pig, eh? To, uh, into there so one sec to okay so I chickened out and didn't uh, want to tip up the big container there so I put her back in this jug so 
start filling this sucker up. And uh, hopefully she'll start doing a bit of gurgling and burping and stuff, they call it. Okay, how are we looking there? It's um, draining right out. Oh, frig, I didn't hook the hose up. Oh, trick two. Trick two on that one. can just see the uh, uh, filler uh, where the hose comes out there I can see it going down there and it's getting sucked down into the whatchamacallit do mahicky thingy you know I don't know how much of that actually probably drained the engine out and probably drained I don't know I guess the rat out <laughs> oh there she's starting to come back up now sucking her back down now again some pushing. Probably gonna be a minute or two to, you know, start burping and stuff. So I'm just gonna put more in, I guess. I think a lot more has come out than I put back in already. So probably once we start it up too, it'll suck a whole whack down there. I imagine. Okay, I'll let her sit a few minutes. Well, it's not gone down a whole pile. I'll throw a bit more in here. And I guess we'll give her a start up. It's got to fill up all that heater cord and everything too, right? So I might as well top this actually up as far as I can. to get into the other jug of stuff I got. Hope not. Okay, that's pretty much full. Uh, a few bubbles still coming out. I don't feel like there's much in that hose yet. pump it through with the, squeezing the hoses, right? Okay, so I put this uh, intake dewy thing back on there, and uh, while I was doing that, it was uh, burping and farting a bunch here and stuff, so I'm going to go fire it up and uh, get her started here. Uh, what the heck? Holy. And we'll get her pumping through here, hopefully. See what happens. Hopefully, don't overheat. Pretty good there now. Let's see if I can show you here. Oh, wow, there she goes. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. Okay, well, let her sit a minute. They say you're supposed to, uh, you know, let it warm up and top rope and stuff when it goes down. Well, it run for a while and the thingies warm up and stuff. And, uh, we want the thermostat to open so it all gets the air in there too, right? So, that thing sounds horrible, doesn't it? Man, still gurgling pretty good. 
fire and that stuff back over here though. Good. Anyway, the water stood a minute and uh, hopefully these both hoses get warmed up. Alrighty, she's been running about five minutes. The level's taken up pretty good and uh, well that hose is warmer, a lot warmer. That's good. I've had the heat just blasted in here so it's not a, got a whole lot of heat on the temperature gauge yet, but well, it's a lot warmer than it was before. Anyways, that's good. I don't know if it's been running long enough to actually have the thermostat open. Um, I don't know. I feel down in here. Oh, it's still cold. So. That one's starting to get a little warmer. Right there, anyways. But, uh, Looks good. It looks like it's coming. It's not really burping too much more, so we might almost have her here. But uh, probably should take her for a little rip around and uh, get her up to par, you know, and uh, maybe check her fluids then again and uh, top her up if needed and we'll see what kind of heat we're getting out of her. It's really tight cap there. Uh, I guess we'll flap this down and have my gloves. That down. I don't think I missed anything. Whoops. And uh, just throw this stuff inside for now. I better bring what's left of that jug with me, maybe just in case. I'm not going to go too far, but we'll uh, just go up the highway maybe a bit. Okay, so we're not really getting a whole lot of temperature there yet. It's coming though, but uh, well, it's definitely a lot warmer than it was. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I uh, not quite almost have that uh, one of those jugs in. But uh, I kind of think I got a lot more out than I put back in so far, so there might be still a little bit of air in there, you know, that might find its way out when uh, when we get uh, the thermostat open here. But anyways, let's head her up the road for a little ride, and uh, we'll come back and see uh, how we're looking. Okay, so I just stopped on the highway here, and just going to turn around and stuff. Seems to be okay, although the temperature there really hasn't climbed a whole lot. But it's throwing some pretty wicked heat out of there now. Way more better than it was, so that's good. Uh, I don't have to wear a coat too much when I'm driving now, that'd be nice. But uh, the thermostat I don't think still has opened yet. Because the top rad hose is kind of sort of warm-ish, and then the bottom's still cold. So, mind you, it is minus today so it's going to take an awful lot more to get her warmed up I would say. Anyways let's head her home. Hopefully I can get that temperature up a bit more you know up to the under where it's supposed to be. But uh, I don't know. Alright let's head her home. Oh man if it gets much freaking hotter in here I'm going to be sweating. Holy. Oh that's working good now. <laughs> Holy crap I wish I brought my uh, temperature gun there. I could have done a temperature thing on the, the vent there but holy frick just about cooking the freaking face right off of me. Holy man. Well, that's good. She's working. She's a lot hotter than it was, but uh, temperature still hasn't come up the way it should, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, or just because it's cooler today, or what, so hopefully there's not a big gap of air in the engine, but I think I probably would have quit by now <laughs> if it would have been, but uh, anyways, that's her. She's working. Freaking right. I'll put her this way. I can put my fingers in those grills for about three seconds and I gotta pull it out because it's pretty freaking hot. So that's uh, pretty darn good. I think that's gotta be over 100 degrees there, that's for sure. Man, it's gotta be about 400 degrees in the, in the cab here now, though. Holy man. So it's, like, so it's like you're, feels like you're sitting in your car in the sun, the windows up in the middle of summer when it's 90 degrees out and it's about 140 in your car. Pretty freaking wicked. But, anyways, that's good. My wife won't be complaining now. Freaking right. Oh boy, let me out of there. I <laughs> open the window halfway back. That was just way too hot. That's good though. It is good. So, uh, yeah, that one's starting to get warm. It's starting to get, get warm, so I mean, it must be going through. You know, it's just taking its time. It's a whole day, right? The bottom one's sort of warm, the big one on the bottom there, but not super. And that one's really hot. That one's really hot. Now, I wanna, what I want to do is get my temp gun and do a thing between. So one sec, please, we'll grab that. Okay, so the Princess Auto Special seems to work good, though. And uh, we'll nail this one uh, right there. We're getting 100 and... 
is here. It's cooled down a little bit in here since uh, I was, uh, I've been stopped, but uh, we've got 142. That's transferring the heat pretty good then. I'd say that's pretty decent. 145 degrees, eh? Holy. Let's crank this right down. See how fast she cools off. Uh, it take long to drop her down, is it? Wow. Sweet. Turn her back up. She goes. It's pretty accurate, you know. I mean, accurate as, you know, goes up and down the way it should when it should. So that's good. I think we're going to get, uh, let's rub her up a bit, maybe. Get the juices flowing a bit more faster. 40, 43, 42, 41. It's pretty good, you know. Yeah, I think she'll be good. Still hasn't really warmed up a lot there, but uh, I guess that's, you know, it's not a bang on accurate for temperature wise, but it looks like it's pretty close to what the, the hoses were there. So, anyway, it's not pulling up behind me. For freak's sake. Hold on, Toots. Just a fella there that brings me my topsoil. Got a load of free stuff. Free. Anyways, uh, let's just check here again. See how we're looking. 40. 30, 40 on that one. And the other one. Pretty darn near the same in and out, so that's good. Yeah, that's pretty freaking warm. Yeah, I'd say that's good. Oh, we're pretty great. Now let's double check in here. Hopefully, we don't get exploded here. It because it's not uh, super hot there yet. It looks like the level is actually up fairly decent right now. I might leave her like there for now, but I'll keep a jug of my stuff with me, you know, if I need her. But I uh, double check here for some leaks. That really is in night shot, so I can see too. And I don't. Thing. All looking for the driest there and stuff. Nothing other than you know, the spilt kind of thing. But I think I think we're gonna be good. Gotta get rid of that squeak though, but I'm not gonna get into that today. Though I'll be in our day, in our day, in our video, in our truck video. 
But uh, anyways, I guess that's it for today, too. Uh, we're looking good and stuff, and I'm um, freaking hungry for some reason. I don't know, all this sweet, liquidy stuff all over my hands, I just want to... But no, I better not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, um, I'll just, while I got you here, I was looking at the uh, tensioner on this thing, and I kind of had to figure out how it works. And it's actually all built into that thing there. And um, let's, have a, let's have a look at the new one here. I just got her in beside me here. Um, and I got squashed here, but oh man, it's still nice and hot in here. And the window right open. Oh, there's some bearings in there we got to do still yet. And uh, you know, you know. Uh, okay. So I kind of presuming that with the arrow on this, it means you got to that way, and it's all spring-loaded mounted in that thing itself there, I guess, so it's all kind of how that works, so, but there's three, three mounting bolts, and, uh, I guess you just put your, put your, uh, whatchamacallit onto that, and, uh, your, uh, sockety thing, and then just crank her, and then it'll loosen your belt so you can get her off, so I'm looking at it, I'm like, how the frick does this work, because normally they have, like, that, um, where you put your half-inch ratchet into, right, and this one didn't, I'm like, what the frick? But uh, anyways, uh, got some in there. Oh, that's good. But uh, we'll shut her down and uh, close this down, I guess. And uh, it's starting to get warmer there now, so I bet you that thermostat will be open soon. 135. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. I should actually just feel the bottom one here again. Yeah, that's not really that warm yet either. So anyways, we'll shut her down for now. Everything's good in there. I noticed the light here isn't coming on. I bet you the bulb's blown out of her or something, you know, but uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out someday, but anyways, it's funny how that gets warmed up. It gets quiet, quieter. Anyways, let's slam her down, dudes. Well, there we go. I just had to run down to the orifice there for a minute. I uh, got a resident in there for the winter. Got the first one in. So uh, we're just going to go uh, while we're down here, have a look at the... Uh, See if the, the beaver dam is still gone out of here. I imagine it probably is, but uh, I don't know if they'll be building stuff like through the winter or whatever, but maybe they do. I don't know. It's awful cold, but it's freaking mushy down here though still. Eh? Look at that, eh? Holy. Mushy and icy. But anyways, let's have a, a looky see down through here. I, uh, so far it's looking all right. I still have to get in uh, to that other dam there, though, and uh, clear that one out because, uh, oh, that hurt. Ow. Well, first fall of the year. Butt's a bit sore. Okay. My boot just slipped off the, the frozen mud. Didn't hurt nothing, though. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're hoping and clear. Except down there where some of the stuff washed down, I guess, but... Uh, not backing it up. Okay, now my butt's starting to hurt. <laughs> Must have landed on a rock. I don't know what the heck I did there, but uh, this stuff's sort of greasy, but it's also uh, it's also really slippery still. Oh, that hurt. But anyways, uh, what did I do here? Anyways, I must have stepped on there. My boot went down to there. That's what happened. Huh. So I went kind of like this, and then boom, down into there. Almost did her again. Holy, who left these trenches here? Oh well, we're still able to walk straight anyways. <laughs> oh, whatever, eh? But anyways, let's uh, head her up and uh, we're just gonna double check the truck there again uh, and uh, just make sure the level's staying in the bottle good there. Okay, that looks like we're good. Uh, looks like it's okay there, it's a little fuller yet than it should be but that's okay no big deal and uh, stuff's still a bit warm that's good fairly warm there still so that's good I think it's gonna be good but anyways I guess that's her for today friggin right got fan mail today holy 85 cents to ship that that's crazy I wonder where the heck that had come from 